Hey, everybody, it's Kira. On Friday, I told you a little bit about my new midlife program called Thrive. I just dropped a little bit of information, and I know that some of you have been on the site and checked it out. A lot of you probably haven't. And the site is comprehensive, to say the least, because I wanted everybody to know exactly what it was before they put in an application. And if you are an audio or visual learner, then I have made a version for you to listen to. So you can find it on the site, you can find it here on the podcast, and then there is a video version that goes along with it. So if you're around, if you wanna hear about this amazing program and all it entails, Stick around, listen up. I think you're going to be pretty impressed. Yay, I am so glad you're here. Welcome to Thrive, everybody. If somebody sent you here, they think you're the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, the cat's meow. They love you because this is a fucking incredible program. Hi, I'm Kira. I am the creator of this program. I know that not everybody learns easily or well through reading. And this site is a ton of reading because I've made it very comprehensive so you know exactly what it is. But one of the things that makes me different is that I understand different learning styles and that sometimes our brains just take in audio or visual better than just reading. So I just wanted to create a short and sweet video about what this program is to see if it's a good match for you. All right, so the basics of this program is 14 women over 40, eight months, 2.5 retreats, and the best year of your fucking life. That is what I want people to say at the end of this time together is this is the best fucking year I've ever had. So welcome to Thrive. It's a brand new positive psychology program with retreats for women over 40 to learn the knowledge, skills, and mindsets to thrive in midlife. Here's a few things we're gonna be doing, but we're gonna be doing a lot more. Unlearn the beliefs that don't work anymore. Get more joy on a daily basis. Regulate your emotions, that's a game changer. Build deep self-worth and learn how to feed and move the body you have now. Because midlife's rough. And this program starts September 1st, it goes till May 18th. And let's learn a little bit more about it. So I don't know about you, but midlife was a bitch smack I was not prepared for. And after a ton of conversations, I realized I'm not alone. I actually posted recently on Facebook and said, ladies over 40, what is the hardest thing for you about midlife besides perimenopause? And this is what some of them said. And it was mildly heartbreaking. Feels like I'm too old and too young at the same time. Feels like I'm in the waiting place, grieving what you thought life would be if it isn't as you planned. What in the literal fuck is going on with my body? Why I'm crying all the time? Why am I so hot? Why am I so tired and achy? Is this forever? The mortality of loved ones, the time, the energy, the responsibility of caretaking, the mental, emotional exhaustion, the resentment, having to make life or death decisions. Nobody prepared us for that shit. Feeling behind and stuck. Career, money, family, all of it. Somebody else said, I struggle with overwhelm and I feel like there's always so much that has to be done. And it's so endless. Kids, making dinner, mowing lawns, laundry, dishes, exercise, groceries, etc. And the weekends are like a mere two days before I have to get back to work. And then it's all repeated. Forever. Next, it's harder to learn new stuff. So it takes an enormous amount of determination to learn what seems to be relatively small things and to make that learning stick. This was a tough one, realizing that I've waited too long to have my own kids. That's tough. On the other side of that, my kid's growing up and not needing me anymore. I feel like I've been abandoned on a deserted island. The physical changes I'm currently undergoing with perimenopause are causing me to look in the mirror and not recognize the face or body staring back at me. My God, do I feel that. Waking up one day and feeling like I have no identity of my own. I'm a wife and a mother and a business owner. I love all of those things more than anything, but I don't want them to be all that I am. And then finally, figuring out what's next or even if I like where I'm at. So guys, I don't know about you, but a few years ago, I just found myself saying, is this it? Is this all there is? Is this all that I've been working for so hard is to end up tired, unsatisfied, isolated, 
disappointed, sad, and just fucking perimenopause. So is this all there is? Am I doomed to just be unhappy and hot flashy forever? Not if you don't want to be, and you certainly don't have to do it alone. And I think that's the most important thing I want to say here is you don't have to do any of this alone. As a woman who is in her midlife, and even with a ton of skills, a ton of community, this is still a hard time. And I can't even imagine what it's like for people who don't have the skills and mindsets in place to feel good. Because otherwise you just feel like you're drowning or you're underwater. So that's me, I'm Kira. This last year I turned 50 and it shook me to my fucking core. It has made me question who I am, how the fuck I got here and what I wanna do with the rest of this one fucking precious life I have. Yes, I'm a bit of a swear bear when I'm passionate. After lots of conversations online and off, I realized I was far from alone. I also figured out that all I really want in my life right now is to be having these weird and hard conversations with other women my age and see if we can get through this together, smarter, better equipped, and with a life we are proud of. So I have gone back to my positive psychology roots and I've created a program that I think anyone struggling in midlife needs right now. Now it has a community of incredible women, which I think is probably the most important part, live retreats and stunning places, two and a half of them actually, and a whole process of learning healthy and bite-sized happiness skills and mindsets that can absolutely make your life better. Plus, I invited a bunch of amazing guest experts and practitioners so we can get our minds and bodies feeling better now. Not the 20-something version of it or the 30-something version of it, what's going on now? So we don't have to keep feeling like we're barely surviving, but instead we get to learn how to thrive. Now, here are the Thrive Program Basics. This is actually a little video of me teaching some amazing women a few years ago at the very place that we are doing our first retreat, the Fives. So here's the basic information. I'm gonna skim over a little bit of this because there's some redundancy some places. But basically when you ask yourself, wait, what is this? This is an eight month small group program for women over 40 to build the knowledge, skills, and mindsets of happiness that have been proven in the recent research of positive psychology. You're not gonna know this shit because this shit's just come out in the last 20 to 25 years. So here are some of the skills and mindsets you're gonna be working on with me. Figuring out and practicing your personal version of mindfulness so you can be present to yourself and the people you love. Mindfulness is a whole bunch of different things and most of us give up before finding how it works for us. I'm gonna help you get there. Next, knowing your bigger purpose and the reason to get out of bed in the morning. Maybe you had goals and they are unsatisfying and unfulfilling. Maybe you've been working your butt off. We are gonna get back to basics. Next, we are gonna be building self-compassion for ourselves so that we can be kind to ourselves on our toughest days and to also build deep self-worth. Self-compassion is a huge component of self-worth. Most of us don't know about that. Most of us are spending our days building confidence and self-esteem. Systems in place to help you stop worrying all the damn time. With tools to stop overthinking and to choose what needs your attention and what doesn't. Knowing how to feel your feelings instead of bottling up, shutting down, or losing shit on people you care about. Healthy coping skills to deal with life without making it worse. Setting kind boundaries to keep the right people in your life. Building and keeping friendships and community as an adult, which is hard. And understanding how to take care of your body in this new stage of life. Now we learn all of these mindsets and skills in real time with me and an incredible group of guest experts. And we do that either at our retreats or on our weekly group video calls together. And this program has both online and offline components so we can really learn, practice, and apply our new skills and mindsets together. Because I don't know if you know, and I just did a podcast about this, that science has proven it takes a minimum of over two months now, 66 days to be exact, not three weeks, to build a new habit. So we have to have the time, practice, and accountability to really change. 66 days, and that's the minimum. So my favorite part of the program, I'm not going to lie, is the offline part of the program. And I think it's a really important part. It's how we're kicking everything off. It's how we start community building right away so that this process feels safe, secure, and amazing so you can grow and change. Now, the first retreat is called the Reset Retreat. It's at the stunning 
all-inclusive Fives Beachfront Resort in Riviera Maya, September 22nd to 29th, 2024. We're also going to do an optional long weekend in January that is not included in the program. The first retreat is 100% included in the program. You just need to get to Cancun. And we're going to do that in Palm Springs from January 23rd to 26th. And then our last retreat is the Celebrate Retreat at the stunning all-inclusives adults-only El Dorado Seaside Suites, which just happens to be one of my other favorite resorts to run retreats from May 14th to 18th. And you get your own swim-up fucking suite. It is amazing. It means you step off your balcony from your gorgeous room into a pool. I know, I have all of them laid out in the retreats page. So next is the online part of the program because I think, actually, I know that we need both. We need short-term connection, intensity at the retreats, and then we need long-term time to practice and apply. So the very first thing that's gonna happen is you get three personal deep dives with me. Now, you may not know me, so that may not be a big deal. It is, because you and I are digging the fuck in. And it's how I make this process personalized to you, because your experience is gonna be different than everybody else's. The very first thing that we're gonna do is a life and happiness assessment in early September before the retreat, a check-in call in January to kind of see how things are going, and if we need to tweak that plan for you, and then finally, near the end of the program, we are going to be putting that action plan together for you to keep going because that's the point. The next part of our online program is our two hour Sunday group workshops and practice. This is how we stay connected. This is how we stay accountable. And this is how we keep learning. So from October to May, minus the holiday break, we have weekly mindset and skill building and practice calls on Sunday afternoons with me and also guest experts and they are from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. This is where we continue to learn and practice everything from the retreat and slowly build new skills and mindsets with the community. Each call starts with a group check-in, has a mini learning workshop, and then an activity or practice. Everything we do is going to be so slow, so intentional, and so bite-sized that you really have the time to let it sink in and create a ritual, which is the point. It's why you probably haven't had things stick in the past. I have spent the research to figure out how to do it. Because did you know that change is a process? And in fact, just did two podcasts about this. Unfortunately, we can't just take in information from sources like books or the internet and change our lives. There's a process of learning, sometimes on learning, applying and practicing to really take on a new skill or habit. Now, the last parts of the online program, first of all, the private portal and community, that may not seem like a big deal, but it will be your new favorite place. There is even an app. This will be where you can talk to each other in between calls, ask me questions. And we also will have recordings, extra resources, a community. There's no Facebook groups here. This is where we're going to do our weekly calls. This is where all of the resources and recordings will be so you can dig deeper and keep connected. Finally, and this is honestly a true bonus, Monday through Friday, you have daily Voxer access to me. While you're in the program, you have access to my brain. And my brain is full of really smart and important shit after 16 years. Everything from positive psychology basics, everything you need to know about dating or relationships, scripts, ideas, feedback, pep talks, all of it. I'm known for my pep talks. And in fact, I feel like I should start putting music behind them and just putting them out to the world. That's available Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it's on a walkie-talkie app. That's right, like childhood, like you have a cool walkie-talkie. You just tell me what's going on, and within 24 hours, I will get back to you with a response. So you have a one-on-one -on -one coach in your pocket for eight months. Best part, no homework. No videos to watch that you're not going to, no articles to read, or activities you'll feel guilty not doing. That doesn't happen. Everything we do is together in real time. In this program, you are set up for success and to actually finish. Next, we have the joy boxes. Who doesn't love to get presents in the mail? Twice in the program, you get a joy box with special gifts to make this process even more amazing. In early September, you get the first one and then you'll receive everything that you need for the retreat. And then the second joy box drops in the new year with everything you need for the second half of the program and spring. Now it's gonna have 
wonderful things in it, like a workbook specifically made for the program that I've designed, a monthly mindfulness craft to supplement our themes that actually goes into mindfulness and creativity, as well as sometimes processing. You're going to get meditation tools to help you practice, books that we're going to use in the program, personalized items to set up your Thrive Space, and a few of my favorite things because I just like to send cool shit. Now, who is this program for? I'm going to zip through these. Any woman over 40 who is tired of fuck and kind of over it all. All sizes, shapes, colors, and sexual orientations are welcome. I am a plus size woman myself. You do not have to worry twice about wearing a swimsuit in front of us. This is a safe, secure space. We are here to accept our bodies, not hate on them. And I will be with you in a swimsuit when we hang on the retreats. It'll be amazing and life-changing. If you feel stuck in a rut and you're not sure how to get the fuck out of it. If you've been a daughter, a sister, a friend, a mom, a wife, or whatever's for so long that you have no idea who you are anymore or what you want. If you prioritized your career and woke up realizing you don't feel satisfied and you're not sure where to start now. If you feel like you are coping with shit in unhealthy ways that doesn't feel good anymore. If all of your old dreams didn't work out and you aren't sure even what to dream about anymore, that's a real thing. If you've been trying to shed old belief systems, boy, were we raised with some bullshit, right? And you aren't even sure what to believe anymore. I'm going to give you some really good, and by the way, you don't need to believe what I believe, but I want you to be solid and intention and integrity to live in the way you are and what you believe. If you need some new like-minded friends and community who are actually healthy and working on themselves, if you've read a ton of self-help books or listened to podcasts, but you can't seem to apply what you know, and that's okay, because that's actually most of us. If you feel like maybe you lost yourself somewhere along the way and you want to find yourself again, that you can com be committed to the process and the community, because that's really important. And you're cool with my passionate swearing, as you've witnessed here. Now, who is it not for? If you're into blaming and complaining, and pointing fingers rather than digging in and figuring out your role. If you have a hard time empathizing and having compassion for others and you lean more into judging, you're probably not a good fit for this program. And then finally, if you really still need to heal and you need therapy instead of coaching, this is not a healing program. This is a skill and mindset program. So we can start at neutral and get you happier and have you have a daily self-care kit in place so you can keep that going and you can deal with life better because nobody taught us how to deal with all this shit. Now I'm going to quickly go through the schedule on the next page. That's all the things included, but you can read that on your own. The very first thing is that we are going to be doing a life assessment call with me, a 90 minute call. When this starts, you are going to get a document that's going to take about an hour to fill out and it's our starting point. So we can track your progress and change. We're going to be assessing overall daily joy and happiness, relationships, family and friendships, self-worth and self-compassion, a mindset check, purpose and meaning, your learning style and motivation gaps. And then after you fill it out, you and I are going to get a 90 minute call and we're going to break down your best way to learn, practice and apply all that we are going to be talking about and taking in together. This is in no way to judge or to feel bad. This is to look at where we're starting so we can measure our progress along the way. Next, we have the reset retreat at the Five Beef All Inclusive Resort from September 22nd to 29. And this is where the program and the community kick off. And by the way, there are monkeys. And I also love this resort so much, I got married there. The theme of the risk retreat is to step away from our lives for a little bit and reset. We spend our mornings with me and the group, and then you have your afternoons to yourself to relax, to eat and experience this incredible all-inclusive resort. All-inclusive means all food, all drinks, all activities, as well as your accommodations are included. You get a private junior suite room and almost everything you need for the week. It's completely included in the price. And there's a whole retreats page that tells you everything. Once we come back starting in October, this is where we're going to keep practicing and applying and learning together. So our calls are every Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern. They are two hours and everything that I'm going to be teaching is going to be slow, intentional and bite sized. This is an eight month program so we can create real long term change towards a better and happier life. Let's talk about some of the themes. I'm not going to go deeply into everything, but October is about reconfiguring your best life. 
you might have had an idea of what your best life was when you were 12 or 18 or 25 or even 35. And maybe that just doesn't make sense anymore. Or maybe you've reached a lot of those goals and they don't feel that good or that satisfying. So we might need to reconfigure some things. We're going to learn how to let go of the hopes and dreams of our youth and create a new happiest life plan. You're going to be living with deep intention with my friend Radio Road, where she takes you through the intention scale and how you know that you are moving through the process to learn and apply. You are going to be setting up your personalized daily happiness kit that you build through the program slowly and surely. And then you're going to be working with Leah, who is our art therapist, to visualize a better life and what your new life will look like. You're going to walk away from this time feeling already lighter, already more aligned with your new goals, and a little bit more hopeful for the future. You will understand how to get there with integrity and intention. November and December is about bringing meaning and purpose to this new chapter. Our weekly Sunday meetings will continue as we dig into who we are now and what we offer the world through our strengths, gifts, and values. So our goals for this time are to help you rediscover who the fuck you are, not who you're told to be, and how to embrace it now. Look at how you can show up in the world in a way that makes you feel proud. How to find yourself after being a mom, wife, daughter, sister, boss, etc. to everyone else. Remind yourself what's really important to you and how to make more of it in your life. Making better decisions with your mind and your body with our somatic pr practitioner, Crosby Norix, who will be coming in multiple times throughout to help us not only think about things, but also learn how to feel them and apply them in your body. Then you will walk away with a personal purpose statement to use as your personal compass moving forward. You're going to walk away remembering or kind of recreating who the fuck you are with strategies on how to keep moving and building a life in the direction with the path of least resistance. Now we have a holiday break from December 16th through January 5th, and that's when the second joy box arrives. Now starting January and February, what I think is the beautiful meat of this process is rewiring your brain for more joy and calm. And by the way, we are actually rewiring your brain. We are unlearning bullshit. We are learning new skills and mindsets. And in fact, I don't know if you knew this, but 95% of our thinking and decisions are made from an unconscious place that was formed by the time we were seven. Seven. These mindsets and limiting beliefs just hang around and we keep making decisions from that place until we get rid of them. And you have to be able to take them out, look at them and let go of them. That is a process and not a process that is very easy to do alone. But we're also gonna be learning healthy mindsets that can change your life motivation and relationships. We're gonna do the empty out somatic process with Crosby to let go of pent up feelings in our bodies and know how to do so moving forward. We're gonna learn how to feel your feelings instead of bottling them up, shutting down or losing your shit. We're bringing in Bon Allen, this amazing British body neutrality expert. She did an incredible TED talk. She'll be calling in from England to talk body neutrality. It's not about body positivity. It's not even about loving your body. It's about accepting your body as is and being neutral about it. You're gonna learn how to stop worrying all the damn time. You're gonna learn kind and doable self-soothing techniques to get you through even the toughest days. Leah Guzman is gonna come and do some healing through art therapy. And then you're gonna figure out coping skills that feel good and are helping more than hurting because sometimes our coping skills become worse than what we're coping from. Finally, we will end on a two week self-compassion skills challenge that we'll be doing together to start building deep, unshakable self-worth. And there will be a book you get so you know exactly what to do every day. We'll be checking in. I'll be doing it with you and we'll be doing it together. And you're going to walk away with tools for even your hardest days. You will know which things to focus on and what to let go. How to get through the tough times in the smartest and quickest ways possible. So your hard days are days, not weeks, months, or years. I didn't mean for that to be a reference to friend song and it seems that it is. Then in late January, if you just want to get the fuck out of Dodge, wherever you're at, I'm from Wisconsin. So I always try to leave somewhere in the winter to not lose it with all of the snow and the cold. And we're going to go to Palm Springs. I found this cute, recently renovated mid-century modern 
Hotel, which is right close to downtown. So we're within walking distance of cafes and restaurants and shops. So we can really explore Palm Springs. Now we're not doing any teaching at this part of the program. We're just there to connect, stay accountable, stay connected to me, each other, and the program, and just enjoy ourselves. Now, March and April is about building strong community and relationships. It's not about romantic relationships as much as just our relationships with everybody. And you and I both know the people are rough right now, but as humans, we need connection. Adult relationships are hard and friends can be hard to find. Our goals for this time are building kind boundaries so we feel safer getting close to people, dealing with unhealthy people without losing your shit with my friend Rob Mack, who is a happiness expert, how to ask for help and what you need without feeling like a burden in all areas of your life, starting and keeping adult friendships with Nina Badzin, who's going to teach us how to meet new people, how to make friendships easier because it's a little awkward and we never were taught this shit. Dealing with aging parents as smartly and kindly as you can without losing yourself in the process. That's a thing. And then finally, I'm bringing in my rom-com rescue, one of my podcasts, co-host Dr. Isabel Morley to talk about how to fight so that you get resolution. So you can solve the problems, whether that be with your partner, your parent, your coworker, your friend, your sibling, whoever. And you will end this time feeling like you know how to spot and find your people who celebrate you for being you. You will also know how to feel better in all friendships and relationships with the skills to build deep connection. And then finally, in April and May, we're gonna talk about not feeling like shit over 40. I mean, I had no idea. And our goals for this time are we're gonna be learning how to tackle perimenopause and menopause head on with a menopause coach, Erica Shannon, understanding your hormones, testings, and how to eat for this next stage with herbal urgent care clinician, Caitlin McCabe. She's a genius. She can read your hormone tests. It's amazing. And then finally, movement and stretching that really fucking helps in our 40s and up with movement. You will walk away feeling like you know how to move, feed, and care for your body in a way that feels good and works for you now. You will also know what tests to get and how to start digging into your perimenopause in a way that feels empowered and smart. Because I don't know if you've been out there talking to doctors, trying to figure out what the fuck's going on with you. I see women crying in their cars and parking lots on TikTok. We're going to get this nailed down so you feel smarter and you know what to do. And then finally, we're ending on a retreat at the beautiful El Dorado Seaside Suites, adults only from May 14th through May 18th. This place is stunning. And if you look here, oh, that's the balcony right there. And you just step right into your pool. So definitely bring your unicorn floaty. A private swim up room is included in the price. This is what your room looks like. And then our final stage is you and I will finish with our one on one call so that we can look at how much you've changed create an action plan that you can follow moving forward and you will walk away with all of your new knowledge, skills, and mindsets and feeling fucking better. You're probably also going to walk away with new friends, new community, new insights, getting better at life. Here are just a few of our amazing guest experts and practitioners. Crosby Norix will be doing somatic processing. Leah Guzman literally wrote the book on art therapy. Radia Rhodes is making change with deep intention. There's Bon Allen, our body neutrality specialist. Rob Mack, dealing with unhealthy people, because that's a thing. Dr. Isabel Morley, fighting for resolution. Nina Badzine, who is starting and keeping adult friendships. Alex Ellis, movement for thriving over 40. Erica Shannon, thriving in perimenopause. I have nailed this for you guys. So I'm not going into the retreats just know that they're my favorite thing on earth i have done 26 retreats there is nothing i love doing more you will come scared maybe nervous you will walk away empowered excited in community and ready for the program you can just see some of my retreats and the amazing women and then learn all about them what we're doing what our resorts are like what are your rooms like everything else 
So check that out. I also have an FAQs page. This is going to answer probably any questions you have. If you miss any of the facts, you can see a little bit about me. Here's some smarty farty things about me. That's what I look like when I have makeup out of my hair down. I've been a certified coach since 2008. I have a certificate in positive psychology since 2018. I've been recording sweary love and dating podcasts since 2013. I'm obsessed with teaching life and love lessons through TV and movies. In fact, I have a podcast called Rom-Com Rescue that I do with Dr. Isabel Morley, where we take our favorite rom-coms and we talk about the good and the not so good relationship lessons from them. And then finally, I'm obsessed with helping people figure out how we learn and get things done. As somebody with ADHD, I have had a lot of not getting things done, a lot of what I would maybe call in the past a failure. And it's just knowing yourself and strategy so we create a path that works for you. Here's just a few of my things, but this is the biggest thing. It's my promise to you. This is what I look like on a regular basis. I've been putting this together for months. It's the best thing I know. I know there are people who are gonna be like, this seems long, this seems expensive, this seems like a lot of commitment. Real change takes all of those things. Real change takes support, it takes the proper information, it takes application and practice. And that's what we're gonna do. And by the way, you guys are my only focus. I am not doing any other coaching. Besides my podcast, you are my full priority. There, and by the way, there's no upsells or no next tiers or anything like that. This program is the real fucking deal. Retreats are included. Everything's included. You just need to apply. We're going to jump on the phone, talk about if it's a great fit, but this is going to be a game changer, everybody. Here's some fun facts about me. So you can read about things that I love, such as I could live on chips, salsa, and guacamole. What it's like working with me, I am honest but kind. I'm a straight shooter. I will tell you what your friends and family won't, but I will do so with deep kindness and empathy after your permission. I have a ton of experience doing this. I know my shit. I am at the top of my game and I am ready to change some lives. My communities are always safe, smart, and kind people who are there to work towards a better version of themselves. And then I'm reasonably funny and I bring lightness to the conversations. I will bring strong and safe boundaries to the program and you will never wonder what I'm thinking. You can just ask. All right, guys, if you think this could be you, come on over here and apply. This is not a cheap program, but with everything involved, there is change on the other side and fuck what I wouldn't do or pay to know that eight months from now, I am going to feel better. I'm going to know how to tackle my life. It's going to be incredible. I hope you join me. Let's fucking change your life together. Let's learn how to thrive.